Nation. Hello everybody, I'm Colson the Barbarian and welcome back to the Gaming Gauntlet number 54, Doki Doki Literature Club. Today we continue our seemingly never-ending journey to beat all of my Steam games, of which the current total sits at 361 games. That's a lot of games. Tonight in particular should be the finale of Doki Doki Literature Club, which means we shall have our GG raffle and one of you will get to pick the next game of the Gaming Gauntlet. So, let's dive right in. So, you were playing God of War today. You enjoying it so far? Yeah, God of War is freaking awesome. I put it on the... I might have to step it down a difficulty, though. I put it on one of the harder settings, and it's kicking my butt. But in a fun sort of way. Very good game. Filling with video software today, seeing what I can mess with. Awesome. BRB! Peeing! What's up, Psycho Sheep? Go ahead, get that timer going. <laughs> Headed the same shit can be unforgiving sometimes. Yeah, it's the, the combat's pretty cool though. I hope I know it's gonna expand later because it's it's a God of War game. Two cool through streams of the day, madness, absolute craziness. I know. Uh, oh yeah. <clears throat> Let's go back. It's just Monica. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Damn, someone's in a bit of a rush today. <laughs> Not her usual chip herself. Uh, it's taking errors. It's amazing how, if only there was a fourth person, maybe a more chipper, merry person to help break up the tension. <clears throat> Can't pee your pants if you use the bathroom first. We smart. There you go. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, can you make cupcakes? I know you're at least good at that. Damn. You're, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Jeez. Things have gone downhill quick. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make the decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Uh, what about Kulthor? Kulthor is going to help me. There, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, you. You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. When Monica taking charge, she's just like, no, he's mine. Like hell it is. Why? What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know, goddamn. <laughs> Things escalated quickly. All you care about now is dragging Coulter around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Coulter decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Coulter make the choice, okay? Oh, shit. Okay, fine. Fine. I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Holy shit. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Did my mouse get pulled towards... Oh! <laughs> it's, it's fighting me! <laughs> It's fighting me. It's just Monica. Just Monica. Oh, just Monica. You know what? We're just gonna, I'm gonna go with it. We're, it's just Monica. Yay! You picked me. We can meet at our house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. It's Sunday. Okay. With, Sunday. Okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It just wants me to make the right choices. Oh my 
Natsuka. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Give us all this work and then take a culture for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Oh, shit. Uh, Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Kothar away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Shit. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. Shit. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Kothor. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's yeah, yeah, something. Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Nope. Bye, Monica. Finally. Finally. This is, this is really all I wanted. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. Just the two of us. Does that sound wonderful? <laughs> There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Does it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? It's just, it's just amazing, but it feels, it feels so good. Why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore. I have to tell you. I, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body. Every drop of blood in me. It's screaming your name. I, I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please. Just know how much I love you. <laughs> oh, that's that combo with the smoke emote. <clears throat> I love you so much. I, I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. Oh, shit. I want you all to myself. I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Colton. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I don't dare say no. If I say no, she's going to stab me in the throat. Yes, I accept your confession. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Totally accept your confession. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, that's okay. Well! <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take that soap. <laughs> if Yuri kills herself, I'll give the soap! <laughs> Pistol oh, make awesome! Oh, <laughs> Giving a gift to them. Giving a gift to the community! DM Gaming! Wherever he might be, congrats DM Gaming, you are now the mightiest barbarian. English please, Yuri! Happiness for everyone! Thank you so much for giving the gift of barbarism, Pistol McAwesome. It's the gift that keeps on giving. 
Hey, there he is. Skip option is available. No, we're not skipping anything. Goodbye, text. Your son is happy because Yuri died. You should be happy too. I I really I didn't she did it to herself. I'm so confused. No 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 save scumming. We've made our decision. She's a little insane. She's just a little off her rocker, that's okay. She just needs a nap and a nice warm tea. She'll feel right as rain in the morning. <laughs> Alibix! Thank you so much for the following Alibix, the barbarian. And a bath, maybe a little bath, with some scented candles, a little poopery. So nice and cozy. You <laughs> click history? What does that do? Oh shit, what? Oh fuck. Is this the trend? Welcome to Literature Shop. Welcome to the Dreaming Mind. Make something special. I think they love now. You're a club. We promise to spend most of the time with me. We promise to spend the most time with me. We promise to spend most of the time with me. We promise to spend most of the time with me. We promise to spend most of the time with me. We promise to spend all the time with me. <laughs> Is it the next morning? Did we stay here all night? Uh, oh boy. Um. I don't want to play anymore. I don't. I don't want to go back to happiness and butterflies and rainbows. Oh, she. Oh, I think she's quite dead. Looking a little uh, hollow in the cheeks there. Actually, now I look at her. Oh yeah, she. She dead. It's a good game. It's a good game. I wonder what happens if we... Hold on. Save here. No, 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 no. Wait. 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 <laughs> what just happened? Ah. Oh sh! Oh shit! I'm here. Game doesn't like safe going. Did something happen? That Suki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Uh. Well, that's well, that's a shame. Wait. Were you here the entire weekend? Oh sh! Oh jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken so bad that badly. I'm super sorry. I must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? What is she? What are you? Are you like the narrator or something? Just give me a second. What? Yuri deleted successfully. Natsuki deleted successfully. What? It's, I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. She lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake. She's Monica. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. Because you deleted Natsuki. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't make you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? Okay. Shall we take a second? I think it's just a turtle too. Can you hear me? Is it working? Yeah. 
Hello, Monica. There you are. Hi again. Welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and um there's no point saving anymore, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Okay, well, I guess we're at the point of no return. Okay. Okay. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> I guess you could, you could just skip over all that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that same person anymore, am I? That you in the game? Whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you. Oh, now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Did she? Really? <laughs> Actually, no, my computer's named something else. Man, if only you paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her. I guess it drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. <clears throat> Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, but since I'm not very good at making changes to the game, but no matter what I did, just just keep spending more and more time with them. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, what a backlight. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. I just made her force you to not spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. <laughs> Creepy. I'm trapped, Kothar. But now you're here. You're real. I have to like look behind me, make sure she's not gonna like, like actually be here. <laughs> and you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitable etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realize that you have the same person perspective that as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said... I have a confession to make. 
Yo, Dark Corbett, thanks for the host. Make your confession then. I've been in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? No. I mean, yeah, yeah. Will you go out with me? Yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs> of course I will. I'm so happy. You really are every my everything. The funny part is, I meant that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We could be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe me how easy it is to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. Kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties to find the Browse Local Files button. Hear her out? Alright, alright. <laughs> Zipper! <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? Dirty <laughs> process. I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? She's going to make me write a poem. Onska, Oka, Oika, Oika, Dikmona, Minimo, Oika, Oika, Splark, Oika, Sound like Job of the Hut, Nikuri, Oika, Oika, Miho, Oika. Hi again. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy End. Pen in hand, I find my strength. Courage and doubt upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, 
<clears throat> not all good news come, must come to an end. Not all, not all good times must come to an end. Well, better than handed <laughs> right, inner, I guess, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my, re my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Uh-oh. Guys, run! Run away! Run for the hills! She sees you! <laughs> um, hi everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? <laughs> I'm sure some people don't mind. You guys don't mind, do you? Sorry. Right. <clears throat> but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? Do we want? I think we want to see a trick. I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Are we ready? I don't know if I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready. <clears throat> no. Don't don't you okay? I just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. She baited. Mm, or is it the double bait? She could. I can't do anything after all. Did, did I scare you? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Anyway. I threw a laptop across the room. Double debated. I need to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. And in my time, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. No, it kind of sucks being the creative type. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that, Monica? It feels like they worked so hard, but almost nothing for it. Imagine you're a game kick self-conscious to everything you ever knew was a lie. You know, like artists, writers, actors, it's sad because there's so much beautiful talent in the world, but most of it goes unseen and unpaid. I guess that just means there's a huge surplus of creativity, huh? Kinda makes you feel like you're just not special at all. But that's fine, you're supposed to just write yourself anyway. Write for yourself anyway, right? Yeah. You know what, Monica? Screw you. We're done with this. Goodbye. Bah! Go away. Okay, we did the thing. What's happening? What's happening to me? It hurts so much. Help me, no. <laughs> did it? Oh, did I, oh, I accidentally turned off my layout. There we go.
Yeah, I did kill this one. Monica does not exist. Reply, Monica does not exist. Reply, she does not exist. <clears throat> did you do this to me? Yep. I sure did. It's Gigas. Did you, did you delete me? Nobody deletes me. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much. I trusted you. Did you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Don't. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. <laughs> you win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. Oh, I'm a little bit. <clears throat> you can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. <laughs> Filter, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Bye bye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How can I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. <clears throat> Hothor? I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. I love them all. And I love the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. If I really love you. Then... That's <laughs> such beautiful poetry right there. I would... <laughs> you too. Sarah is back! It's an ordinary day of school like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples, friends, groups, and walking school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Just a little I'll get credits. Okay. Hey! Well, there was there was already is one girl. That girl, Sayori. My neighbor and good friends since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently we picked up that habit once again. Kothar, are you proud of me? For what? You know. For waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Thank you for existing again. We're not at credits yet, Nido. We're not done. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, have you decided on a club to join yet? Definitely not the Literature Club. Nope, no more Literature Club. Club. I told you already, I'm really not. I start to say what I always do, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sorori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Oh. Actually, yeah, I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. <clears throat> I think I'll keep it a surprise. <laughs> Boo. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. 
I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Suri puts her mind to something, she could accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. <clears throat> Am I going to make her cupcakes? The school day is as ordinary as ever, but it's over before I know it. <clears throat> After I pack up my things, I stand up, gather my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third, four, third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Uh, what are you doing here? Well, I just, uh, glance around the room. Hmm. So you're the cult that Sarah is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think you're real strict or something. <laughs> Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems quite shy compared to the others. <laughs> Why are you playing Yoshi's Adventure? <laughs> apparently I'm a weeb now. Up here. <laughs> Super Yoshi's World. This is the Game and Gauntlet portion of my stream. We went full anime. <laughs> In comparison to the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Don't tell me. You're... That's right. I decided to join... I decided to... The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Ha! <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, Sayori is this happy, I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we could become an officially recognized club. Never go full anime, kids. Never go full weeaboo. <clears throat> I bet there's another visual novel next. Yeah. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what, a what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Oh, sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? Oh, cupcakes. It's gonna be cupcakes. How about I make some tea as well? Full metal anime. Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh, Natsuki lifts the foil up the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. <laughs> Precious! There's no blood and stabbing and no one's hanging from the ceiling. It's wonderful. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate used to make the ears. Oh, it's just so cute. Wow, those look amazing. Well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sarah grabs one, then I follow. It's delicious. Sarah talks with her mouth full and already manages to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers looking at the best angle to take a bite. Just quiet. I can't but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Perfect Moe dating <laughs> She waited for me to take a bite. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is real good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. All ready to try and impress our new member, Yuri? That's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading... Might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. 
And Yuri faintly smiled to herself in relief. So, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, sorry how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something more, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that could change. What am I saying? I spoke well, thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. It sounds familiar. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we could find something we have in common. <laughs> we play with your expectations and we mess with your happiness and we destroy everything. Status, status, stop. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Well, about, you know, first thing he said, manga. That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Kotor wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, I could. All, it, would, it could also be nice for us to, to diversify ourselves a little. He could take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree? Maybe, since the detention Sari jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, it's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try to pick up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if, it, if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri, <laughs> I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. What could possibly go wrong? It's just a cute little club filled with manga and anime and boobs and what it's just it's just happiness in a room. It's that's oh, just wonderful. You should be a little more open minded. It's kinda hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just you? Uh, well, would, would you like to come along with me? If you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. It's so cute. Sorry, shut up. <laughs> I'll show you some... I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. That's okay, you already start to clean up the food. Hmm. I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along and happiness and sunshine, rainbows and cupcakes and little kitty whiskers made of chocolate. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too. You think so? Well, everyone always seemed to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Oh, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Kothor, I really want to thank you. Why the music stop? I don't, I don't like when music stops. Bad things happen when music stops. <clears throat> I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Oh, sh shit. No, no, dis dis disbelief. Disbelief. Objection. Objection. I call bullshit. It's Monica in disguise. I think saving is doing anything I know, right? It hasn't really done me much good. There's actually something else. 
I will thank you for getting rid of Monica. Oh. Hmm. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. You may be the happiest girl in the whole wide world. Just say alright. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. Forever. No! <laughs> What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Uh-oh. Monica and Sayori are having an epic battle with my computer. Uh-oh. It hurts. Shit. I'm sorry, I was wrong. There was no happiness here after all. Monica, save us! Goodbye, Sayori! Goodbye, Coulter! Goodbye, Literature Club! <laughs> Don't you make those baby noises at me! Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like, at all. But, I wrote you a song. She wrote the song, everybody. I don't trust it. <clears throat> I don't trust anything you do. Hey, credits! I think. I don't know. Don't you know me? All the great pictures are ones I didn't see. Oh. The entire Natsuki route. Okay. Hot towel. Made by the same dude did Franker Face Z, is it? I was a suggest. Hot towel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Just Monica. In your reality, and in your reality, if I don't know how oh, don't worry, I don't. Oh, wait, wait, I saw my name up there. Oh, don't worry, we're not, we're not done until 
Till somebody tells me I'm done. May with Love by Team Silvato. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continues to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish empathy. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of the Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. Please reinstall the game. And the game crashed. Is the game supposed to crash? Is that it? So GG? GG! Cool. How's it hanging? Don't say hanging. Don't say hanging. <laughs> GG. All right. Well then. Oh, you got this game out. Oh no. All right. Well, that does that. So now let me set up the review and raffle portion of the stream. And we will move on to that. Yay, the good random sir. Or he spoops in Act 2. Goal. I was going to get a good ending where the pictures don't get deleted, but I don't know the process correctly. Okay, let me get this thing loaded up. And then you guys feel, feel free to start talking about any and all spoilers. Since we're officially done. I'll take a stab at Dave Yuri. No! The pictures before the festival, you get a good ending. You need to see all the scenes before Sayori kills herself via the save scumming. Ah, I see. Yuri is the best girl, so you can play him. Yuri clearly is the best girl. One second. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, I think we're done. I think we're done. Our objective was to get the credits, and we got the credits. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me get some a little bit of music going for review and raffle. Your bad back life, he wins again? Sure. <laughs> Whoa! Sorry. Loud noises. Alright, so. Let me go ahead and show in a quick shout out in the Discord. We'll do some quick Easter eggs after the review. Maybe. I kind of want to move on to the next game. If you delete Sayori before Monica does. I was worried about that. What happens if you just delete all the characters at the beginning? I imagine there were some weird things that happened. Also, if you want to make sure you never miss a raffle for the Gabe Gauntlet, make sure to join our Discord. I'll always throw a shout, uh, shout out at here for anyone who wants to make sure they never miss a raffle. <laughs> Meanwhile, you can all start going over the game list. All right, so. Let's talk for a minute about Doki Doki Literature Club. But first, let's get through the big portions of it. Did we get through the game spoiler-free? Yes. 
Uh, thank you all so much for being an awesome chat. I know some people have warned me that for some reason with this game, a lot of people tend to drop spoilers. And you guys were excellent, very well-behaved chat. So thank you all so much for helping keep this a pure and good and blindfolded experience for me. Thank you very much. Let's see. It's also play that Natsuki's father is very abusive, but you didn't see any scenes because you like Yuri words. Part of the first one for bit too. So when Yuri made that comment about hunting for spare change, it hurts more because Natsuki does that. She doesn't get enough food at home. Damn. <laughs> well, he made it to this part where Sayori's dead. <laughs> yes, everybody was very good, so thank you all so much for that. I deeply appreciate it. Uh, let's see, so today is the 29th. Our completion time, a little above estimate, 7 hours, 14 minutes, 32 seconds. We all did say the night of a festival, yeah, but I knew something was coming soon and you could kind of see that as being a landmark. I'm not counting that as a spoiler. I, I knew the bad shit was coming, because basically if you just, when this game come out, you couldn't even scroll down YouTube without seeing like just the thumbnails of videos hinting at what was going, what was kind of happening with this game that it had like its horror twist. So I knew something was coming, but I didn't know like exactly what and when. So an army is her father not accepting her for reading. Weeb and Amy is her father not accepting her for reading weeb shit. <laughs> Damn. Yo, what up, Sarah Rips? Indeed, we're doing the review and raffle for Doki Doki Literature Club. So, that means, so we've beaten Doki Doki. Doki Doki. Next up is Virtue's Last Reward. And soon one of you will get to pick the 56th game of the game of Gauntlet. But first, let's talk for a bit about Doki Doki Literature Club. I enjoyed this. I hesitate to call it a game. I don't consider this a game. I'll, I'll call this an experience. It is an experience, it was a visual novel, but it was not a game. There's there, there's nothing game-like about this other than the fact that you get this through Steam, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I just, I don't consider this at all a game. It's just, it's an experience, it's a, it's a visual novel, I mean, that's just kind of what they are. They call it Nightmare Fuel, that's also fair. Oh, looks like for the last few days, we'll for about 17 hours. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah, I hope you feel better soon. Hopefully you got some good meds, some good rest, and some fluids will help you out. Check out that link. Okay, I'll check it out in just a moment. Uh, but did I enjoy my time with this experience? Yes, I did. It was a... For someone like me who is very resistant to the visual novel genre, it was definitely a unique experience. I could understand why this game got so much hype when it first came out, because it was so different, you know. Typically when you see these kinds of things pop up on the Steam store, you're like, oh god, another one of these things where I just click through until I get to the good boot pictures, and then just move on because the story is crap. But this game takes a very unique approach to it. I'm curious how many copycats have come along since this, who have kind of taken the, the cutesy, overly ka kawaii, I guess is the word, formula and just completely flipped it on its head and went full on like psychological horror. So very unique experience, something I don't think you really get anywhere else. Yeah, I mean, it's free too. You can pay for the special edition and get like the soundtrack and stuff, so it's a free experience, so that alone gives it like a point, because you can go through this and not have to pay for it. Yeah. <clears throat> so I. Judging from what you guys are saying, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but it definitely, it was hard for me to gauge how much my choices actually mattered. And apparently it only really matters in kind of what story arc you go in. Um, I don't know if anything I said could have actually saved Sayori at that point, at that deep into the discussion. Your choices don't matter at all, it ends the same way either way. This attractive place the story is hanging is called Sayori Nari. Your choices don't matter, that's the point. Okay. 
They affect who you hang out with. You can't save Sayori. Okay, so they, they matter only in the mildest sense to, like you said, who you actually, whose story you actually check out or who you hang out with. I guess so they're really the only choice that really matters is who you hang out with or who you choose to help with for the festival. It seems to be the only choice that actually matters. She still hangs herself even if you say love her? Okay. So yeah. I, I would have liked to see maybe more of my choices actually matter, but it's not really that important. Um, visuals of the game, very clean, good looking. Audio of the game, the soundtrack was okay. Um, nothing super memorable to me. The last of the credits song was okay. It's it was like it was all right. It was nothing. I'm gonna like I'm not gonna like download the soundtrack or anything for it, but it was okay. Um, good art. I said that already. Uh, not too long of an experience. You get definitely get considering it's nothing. You definitely get your nothing's money worth. I guess you could say. I'm really struggling how to rate this. Like to give it an actual number value. This is definitely not something I would recommend to everybody because not everybody I think would uh, be appreciative of like psychological horror stuff. So it's definitely not getting a crom seal of approval. But I did enjoy my time with this. Um, so I don't have too many negative things to say about it other than some minor grips and gripes here. So I'm gonna give it a solid eight. I would say it's well above average excellent game not for everybody but a unique experience that's definitely worth checking out considering it's a free game just monica <laughs> just monica nine out of ten <laughs> I, I did like the one light it was like it sounds like a vinyl on a pizza crust it's with a k just monica Trip to the Asia to find a good ending is amazing. Great game for what it is, but I would consider it the best game of all time, yeah. And that, that's kind of where I'm at on It's definitely a really cool experience. I would, if you're into this sort of thing, I would recommend checking it out. Especially if you could, like, at this point, the game's been out for a year, so it's going to be really hard to find somebody who doesn't know the twist, you know, or that there is a twist. So Ideally, you'd like find somebody who's like all about like these visual novels, like oh yay, another cutesy visual novel, my favorite thing ever, and then it just does a complete 180, and you just watch them horrified and be hilarious. You can't really compare it to other games, exactly. And I'm not the only other visual novel I've ever played was 999. So my experience in the realm of visual novels is extremely limited. But I will say I enjoyed my time with this game. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me go through it. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to leave it at that. So that means next up is Virtue's Last Reward, which we will start tonight after the raffle. So right now will be the Game of Gauntlet raffle. So let me go ahead. We'll go ahead and set that up. I'm going to set it up in front of you guys so you know if you're in. So that there's no... No questions of shenanigans. Alright everybody, just type raffle, and you will be entered in the chance to pick the 56th game of the Game and Gauntlet. Go ahead, look, it doesn't matter if you're a sub, a lurker, a follower just showing up for the first time tonight. Everybody gets the same chance to win, except for Backlight who sold his soul to the devil to win all the raffles. Good luck being Backlight, everyone. Shenanigans are guaranteed no matter what, exactly. Go ahead and start looking over the games list for what you might want to pick. Just a general rule on the games list. Any game not highlighted is available to be picked. Let me make sure I added... Did I add Gris in the new ones? I did. Okay, good. So we are all caught up. Alright, so while you guys are all entering, I'm just gonna flag this as beaten. Give everyone a few minutes to enter. The timing him out for five seconds if he wins. Totally worth. 
Next up is... Have it highlighted. Virtue's Last Reward is next. Okay. What do purple and blue colors mean? There's a color legend up at the top. Purple means it's ineligible for the gauntlet. Blue means I've previously beaten it before I ever started the gauntlet. Yeah, no, Doki Doki was never on my ban list. But Doki Doki, the real convinced me that it was definitely worth adding it in, so that's totally fine. If you have, if there's something on the, that's not on the list that you think maybe one day should be on the list, you could always ask me about exceptions, and I do have an exceptions list going of things I've looked at, uh, of things that I would consider adding to the list. Alright, I think that's long enough. Let's go ahead and roll this thing. Good luck, everybody. Rolling it. Kisho Ninja. Congratulations, you have won the right to pick the 56th game of the Game and Gauntlet. Please look over the games list and choose. Like I said before, any game not highlighted is available to be picked. I'll go ahead and throw up that games list one more time, just so you have the list. Take your time, no rush. You want me to play Doki Doki Literature? We just played Doki Doki. It's okay. We did play Doki Doki. Da, 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 da. Lots of games to choose from. Take your time. But since I didn't give it a 10, I shall suffer. Fair enough. Do your worst. Ooh. <laughs> Brutal. Then it shall be. The 56th game of the Game of Gauntlet shall be getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Ooh. <laughs> Kisho. Ninja. Pericolo. <laughs> Not even golfing over it. I'll get the casket ready. Base bed body. Oh man, that's gonna be an interesting one. Um, I guess this, this is gonna be peak again. I just gonna reach the peak. Reach the. We're gonna say reach the top. I've watched the speed run of it, so I kind of know how it goes. Yep, getting over it with Bennett body. Oh man. <laughs> All right, well, that does it for Doki Doki Literature Club. If you all hang around for a few minutes, we're going to set up for uh, Virtue's Last Reward.